Welcome to our tech troubleshooting video. Today, we're addressing a frustrating issue that many developers encounter when deploying their applications. Our viewer is facing the error message, failed to initialize a region while trying to create Google Cloud functions in a production environment. They mentioned that everything worked perfectly in their test environment, but now they're stuck. Let's dive into the details and see what might be causing this problem. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, going through some of the answers, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy and work through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. The error message failed to initialize a region typically indicates an issue with the specified region for your Google Cloud function. Let's explore some potential causes. First, check if the region US Central 1 is supported for cloud functions in your project. You can verify this in the Google Cloud Console under the Cloud Functions section. Next, ensure that your project has the necessary permissions and that the billing is enabled. Sometimes permissions can differ between environments, even if they appear similar. Additionally, review your Stackdriver logs for any other related errors that might provide more context. Look for any warnings or errors preceding the failed to initialize a region message. Finally, if everything seems correct, try deploying the function to a different region to see if the issue persists. This can help isolate whether the problem is specific to us Central One. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. If you're seeing the error, failed to initialize a region when creating Google Cloud Functions, it might be due to the Cloud Functions API being enabled during its alpha phase. To fix this, try disabling and then re-enabling the API, but remember to delete all your existing functions first. If you encounter problems deleting your functions or re-enabling the API, you can report the issue to the Google Cloud product team for assistance. And guys, that's it. I hope this video has helped you and get you through to that resolution you needed. If it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you hit subscribe. Now, until the next time that you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers. Cheers.